I understand that um, when we hear the word cloning, we all think of it as um, creating, you know, uh, another person from a from a um, manufactured type thing, and and that is a distasteful thing for for at least me. I'm sure most people, when you think about it, and we've all seen that in the movies, um, but. I don't think that's what this is just covering. I think what we're talking about here is using this bill to curtail the University of Minnesota and Mayo Clinic's ability to do significant amount of stem cell research. And um, that is, I think it's a major concern, um, philosophically putting that aside, because we're the finance committee. And I don't think that's this is the appropriate place to have that philosophical discussion. But even from a financial perspective, if we want to be a leader, uh, a re research and development university leader in the country, to have this provision in there, I think um, will curtail our ability to uh, create the kind of research that will in fact change lives be on the medical forefront. Um, those of you who have family members with health problems, I mean there's just all sorts of implications that there's just a couple lines in this bill and, and you might just read it and think oh but when you peel the onion back a little bit this is of great concern and I don't know um, as I understand it, it didn't go through the Health and Human Services. It went through higher ed, and I'm concerned about that. And I'm concerned that we've actually limited not just state dollars, but these institutions' ability to access federal dollars. So it's a pretty sweeping thing that's been put in this bill. 